So, one thing I'm learning is that I shouldn't necessarily let go of my anger because I don't want to forget why I'm angry, right? Because it will defeat the purpose. Um, but we should always figure out why we're angry so that we can forgive ourselves. And forgiving the other person doesn't mean we'll ever trust them or people. You know, sometimes it's simple as your own parents, right? Because that's where I trace everything back is people's parents. I don't usually blame anyone for the root of my own problems except my lineage. And uh, maybe I don't want to say I'm to blame for that because I don't feel like I am. Sometimes I feel like I, my family isn't my family. Um, I feel very out of place there. So, there's that. But, um, you know, one thing I was thinking about was that, uh, how different everything manifests. So, I see a lot of indication in my reality that is my manifestation. People are manifestations of my own emotions, right? I'm birthing people in women's bodies just by my own emotions, it's very bizarre because um, it doesn't come out the way I want it. Like, for instance, this is going to sound very tangled up, and it is. It's like a wire that is knotted up and crisscross in my brain. And um, it's actually, there's scientific proof that our cerebellum contains all of our nerve endings and uh you know, uh, nerves from our brain wire crisscross down there and down our neck, um, making the right side responsible for the left and the left side responsible for the right. Okay. So this situation, I'm going to use it as, as an example, um, and it correlates to our brain. Of course, everything goes back to science 100%. Um, when I think of the instance when I was a child and I was sodomized, I feel very angry. I have a lot of anger from that. It took away my innocence. It robbed my ability to function as, um, you know, I matured into my puberty. It affected my social skills. It, uh, it hurt me in a lot of ways. My development, my personality, my reactions to things, my views, especially my view on intimacy, it, it um, pretty much sabotaged that, right? I blame the person that took the action, 100%. Um, but I also br br I blame the person that was put in charge of that person, 100%, right? But now that I'm a an adult, my thoughts are manifesting themselves into my childhood years. And um, it's quite bizarre because I realize that the person that was put in charge of that person is actually beneath me. And I just didn't know it as a child because I wasn't at that point yet. And while I knew a lot of things about my future... When I was a kid, I didn't know everything. And now that I'm an adult, it's like looking into a mirror. And I guess that's why I don't particularly care for mirrors. But I see me creating my past. Um, I have a uh, simple fantasy, right? A simple sexual fantasy. And that thought alone manifests itself out into my reality, but it doesn't look like what I thought about. For instance, I'm thinking of a man, okay? Well, it manifests itself out as that man being with a young child, and it looks awful, but in reality, in my head, I'm thinking of that man. So that must mean that I'm the child. And if I'm still a child, but somehow I'm an adult, then I'm existing simultaneously with myself in time. And 
if I've done that, then this man goes and takes that action. And I, I'm not controlling him by any means at all. I have no control over him. I have given the control to you, to each of you. You all have the controls, right? I control this person. I control that person. Ha 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 ha. You're right. You do. You control me. But if something as simple as my thought dictates your actions, what does that say? I'm probably the most powerful person on this planet. And I'm the only one person that anyone should ever fear. But yet, somehow, I'm not, I'm not a scary person. You know, I'm not trying to be that way. I just think adult things, think adult thoughts have thoughts or even just experiences and they manifest outwards into my reality and dictate your actions because if you're not pure and your mind is not pure and your soul is not pure and your heart is not pure then you are going to have a level of just absolute control and you're going to be power hungry money hungry if you have any impurities like that you have control, right, over me, over other people. You have that responsibility. You've been given that, right? And to whom I'm speaking with the power of control, right? A lot of women, a lot of people in secret cults, many places that have no idea who I am. But here I am exposing myself and you still don't hear me or see me. So... I am absolutely manifesting myself into this bizarre thing. And I've come to realize that I am a child in spirit. I'm still a child. I look like a woman. I walk like a woman. I talk like a woman. I'm a woman. But I'm a child inside. And I'm having a woman's experience because I'm never going to experience actually being a woman. I'll always be a child. And uh, the closest thing to having an experience as a woman and being old and being an adult and getting to do adult things is, is, is manifesting myself as this. So I apologize if I'm affecting other people's reality. They have impure hearts that are taking wicked actions based on my thoughts that are not wicked at all. They're actually very normal concepts and just me trying to get away and have some peace in private. But I came here and there's so many of you and I want to be alone. But even when I'm alone, I'm never alone. Um... <laughs> And it's quite disconcerting. So here's my confession to say I'm sorry. Uh, I'm actually not. I'm not sorry at all. Um, this is something I'm just now realizing. I'm not sorry. But I do apologize. Um, but I am a child. And I will be a child forever. And so. If I choose to get away and have an adult experience <laughs> my bad if I'm hated or pushed away or called some evil names because of that then my bad that just means the person that is my parent or is my superior and I know they did something really fucked up to me at one point in time because they wanted something that I had. And they still can't take it. I still have it because it's not something you can take. But that puts my parent in the position, and this doesn't even have to be my biological parent. You know I'm speaking to you. My parent has a grudge against their child and doesn't ever want me to experience adulthood um, and 
That's an issue for me because I didn't consent to this. So, I just need everyone to know that I have some fucked up fantasies. I mean, really fucked up fantasies. Some things I would never do. I would never do some things I really want to do, but I can't. But these fantasies aren't what you see. Um, None of them are actually wicked. They're just very roleplay-like. And they manifest out backwards. Because I'm the child. And sorry to all the men I've fucked. (laughs) But at least I look like a woman. I appear as a fully mature woman. Right? 